Howdy folks, we're gonna check out some ice in the glacier to understand how we can use ice cores to reconstruct paleoclimate. Basically learn what the atmosphere looked like in the past. So glacial ice, when it's properly mature, has this bluish color. And let's see if we can actually see this. If you look close, there are bubbles in the ice. Those bubbles, that's the air in between the snow, mall, the snow crystals. When the snow gets compressed and turns into the ice, the air is trapped, leaves us bubbles. I'm gonna show you one more example, bubbles in ice. So all those bubbles were trapped when that became ice, when it turned from snow with air in it into ice. Why, does, why is this cool? Why is this awesome for science? Those bubbles in that ice might've come from 1970, 1870, who knows when, sometime in the past. If we know when they came in there, then we can figure out what the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide was then. So we have 800,000 year old ice cores, which tell us exactly how much carbon dioxide was in the atmosphere 800,000 years ago. All because snow has air inside it and that gets trapped in the ice as a bubble. Pretty rad.